I like to not do anything about my problems, but still worry about them. And the funny thing is, I often make the most beautiful ones for myself. Like my fears of people, loneliness, maybe being too much or simply not being enough, my fears of confrontation, rejection, dying, and even being alive, they're all problems for me. Thinking that maybe if I buy a bunch of useless crap, I won't need to be a whole person anymore, this is a problem for me. Or the fact that I always speak through vague, veiled words, trying to paint an abstract picture, hoping that everyone will see it in the same way I do. This is a problem for me. Not understanding how people can't see it. How they can't see where I stressed every syllable and deeper meaning from simple words into the creases of paper, making marks on a blank slate. I've made a problem for myself. Because somehow, I feel I can really only speak through metaphors because even if I don't, even if I start listing off my fears of people and rejection and loneliness and dying, they shut me out. Even when my abstract paintings become scribbles and letters strung together to create something to the point and literal, a message that I want someone to see, not hard to understand, like the simple words, I am so sad today, they shut me down. When I finally find my voice, when I find the courage to tell someone how I truly feel, or when I find ways to bend the rules around my words, they don't listen. So I find myself putting my pen to paper for hours on end, letting the ink bleed out a list of all the words no one wants to hear, letting my hands cramp and fingers callous, letting what I truly mean get lost in a messy crowd of words that no one seems to grasp. I let myself create more problems for me. I allow my mind to create these beautifully toxic thoughts where I could use the poetic way I talk to trick the simple-minded into seeing what I want them to see, even if it's not what I really mean. Where I can maybe, just maybe, use metaphors to tell the world about the things I will not say out loud, the things I can't say out loud, like the thoughts I have about the ones I used to love but failed, or the ones who failed me. Isn't it an issue? that I think poems are a saving grace, a safety net for the words I want to say even though they won't be acknowledged, a safety net between me and my audience so I'd have the power to speak freely one day but still be misunderstood. Are you anything like me? Do you make problems too? Do you stand with a smile stapled to your face with duct tape across your mouth so you won't be heard? Do you stand as a metaphor yourself, as something people will not question because you look like every other perfect person who stood in your place even though you feel so sad today like me? Do you do toxic things like me? Do you constantly convince yourself it's self-love when really what you're doing is self-destructing? Will you spend your life hiding from what you seek because what you seek is help? Do you want to be deemed a pointless poet or a fearless voice? I am a pointless poet, using veiled words as a wall to stand behind to avoid the most beautiful problems I have created for myself. The truth is, there's nothing poetic about feeling low. And since all my pens have run out of ink, I really hope you listen if I ever decide to tell you how sad I feel one day.